Hello, my name is Paul. This is my assistant TJ. Not only are we both professional engineers, but we are also American citizens. Yay! The purpose of this presentation is to educate engineers and the general public about voting and to promote my cat Ginger for president. This time of year is normally reserved for thinking about what sort of Halloween costume you want. Perhaps you will be an engineer or possibly an engineer. But this year we also get to think about voting. Voting is a great tradition that has persisted through most of American history, including log cabins, voting, George Washington, disco, financial collapse, and living in log cabins again after the financial collapse. Without voting, our country would have been run by an evil dictator like Hitler, Saddam, or Daisy the mean dog next door, and this would have prevented the invention of disco. Have you ever heard an evil dictator say they like disco? Voting for president is an important duty for American citizens. Fortunately, there are usually only two candidates for all intents and purposes. This is good because two choices makes it easier to choose. Here, for example, we see Oscar contemplating his choice between something that looks like miniature trees or something that tastes like shrink-wrapped cardboard pellets. Despite America's preference for only two presidential choices, TJ and I would like to offer a third choice, Ginger. Ginger would make a good president because, like most cats, she has the ability to not pay attention to people, which is an important skill for any president. She also has military experience and will vow to help protect Americans' veterans and veterinarians. What kind of military experience does Ginger have? To answer this, we present the following Hollywood-esque dramatization. Radar contact, hostile cat, 10 o'clock, altitude 6 feet. TJ and Ginger, you are cleared for intercept. Roger that. <laughs> Too close for missiles, I'm switching to guns. <laughs> Ginger's in the sun, I can't see. Ginger's in the sun, I can't see. Ginger, he's on your 6 o'clock. Evasive maneuvers. Repeat, he's on your 6 o'clock. Evasive maneuvers. No, I'm too close for missiles. Switching the gun. You're not too close for missiles. Yes, I am. No, Switching the gun. Or two, or two, or two, or two. Yeah, whatever. You're still not going to get it. Yes, I am. Switching the gun. Oscar's hit. Oscar's hit. Ginger's victorious. Splash one bogey. Ginger's number one. Ginger's number one. Oh yeah, like fly, you're so fly, great. Whatever, I'm getting Ginger's some food. Ginger's number one. Time to buzz the tower. Don't buzz the tower. It's time to buzz Don't the do tower. Don't do you'll get in trouble. Dang it, that's the second time today. Time for landing. Landing gear down. Watch the fish. Check. Easy. Watch the fish. Stay on target. Low. A little bit to the right. All right. Perfect landing. Good job, Ginger. You too, Zoe. Ginger, on behalf of the American citizens and the Commander-in-Chief of the United States of America, we thank you for using your aerial combat skills to defend freedom and liberty against the tyranny of Oscar. Military service is fine, but what about Ginger's other qualifications? Will she protect the environment? What is her plan for the economy? If elected president, Ginger promises to take steps to protect the environment by expanding habitat for tuna. TJ and I have been conducting scientific studies of tuna habitat in the wild. Our studies have shown that small tuna habitat measures 3.3 inches by 1.5 inches for a total of 12.8 cubic inches of tuna, and the big tuna habitat measures 4 inches by 2 inches for a total of 25.1 cubic inches of tuna, which is a 96% increase. Although these studies are not universally accepted, it has allowed Ginger to determine that bigger tuna habitat means more tuna for everybody. In this day and age of economic uncertainty and the falling U.S. dollar, Ginger believes we need to take steps to stimulate the economy. The best way Ginger knows to stimulate something is to scratch it on the butt. Scratching the economy on the butt would be good for everybody, and it would be way less expensive than a $700 billion bailout. Scratch that economy. Scratch it good. Scratch it real good. Scratch it on the butt. Right there. That's the spot behind the ear. Yeah. You scratch it we don't good. need no bailout plan. We got some scratch it on the going butt. on. Watch it. Watch it now. Easy. That's better. Scratch it on the butt. I feel stimulated now. Man. Finally, we would like to present Ginger's running mate, Vice Presidential Candidate Zoe. 
Zoe started her career in the transportation industry, was eventually elected mayor of my living room, and now serves as governor of my entire house. As an elected official, Zoe has always been tough on crime. This archival footage shows her keeping a watchful eye on things, and here we see her cracking down on a suspected cardboard box vandal. When she later realized that the suspected vandal was simply a postmodern cardboard deconstructionist practicing his art, she issued a full apology. Zoe is strong on education and favors teaching science in our classrooms. Zoe likes science because she uses gravity on a daily basis. Notice how Zoe remains on the floor of my living room rather than floating off into outer space. Last but not least, Zoe is strong on national defense because she can look out the front door and see across the street. But not only that, she can also look out the back window and watch for any suspicious activity on the other side of the pond. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and will now vote for Ginger for president. Even though she's only been alive for six years, this is the equivalent of 41 years for cats. She believes in a healthy lifestyle, plus she has nine lives, so she won't need Secret Service protection as much. Ginger for president. If she doesn't get elected, it's okay. At least we have these cool costumes for Halloween.